Hello everyone. So today I will be demonstrating a feature that I have contributed in the Dubai library recently, and I will be demonstrating the code and how you can seamlessly create causal models uh, using this new feature uh, that is contributed. So uh, I'll just jump into the code and currently if you want to use this feature you will have to pip install the main branch which is the development branch uh, soon you will uh, get to use this feature in the next upcoming Dubai release so for now uh, you'll have to pip install using this command and uh, once you have this then uh, what you do is that you define your causal model and the causal relationships right so here uh, this is just an example case where i have taken where there are three nodes x y and z and x follows a normal distribution being the root node and you can see the non root node uh, equations are also defined here this is just generating example data and uh, so just for example if the relationships were like this like uh, this is a linear relationship with respect to x and it is followed by a noise that is normally distributed and same for z uh, y being the parent node of z here uh, there is a linear relationship defined and followed by the noise that is uh, defined here and just for example if you had this data and you wanted to build a causal graph or a, or a causal model upon it and do some on answer some uh, uh, causal questions that you have with respect to this data right so what you do is like in a typical uh, do while library implementation till now what you would have to do is like create the structural causal model and also create this graph with uh, with the help of network x library and you create this graph where x is your root node again and y it's its child and again y is here the root uh, the parent node of the z so after creating this you have to also define the relationship between each of these node right so for that either you manually set up the causal mechanism for each of these node or you just ask the system to automatically assign the best suited uh, functional causal model uh, to each node right so after doing that you again fit the data to the uh, to the causal graph and then at the end what you do is like you run different causal questions or r run different causal uh, functional problems uh, whether it be international samples or root cause analysis problems or other problems right but now uh, what if you knew the causal uh, relationships uh, uh, between each node uh, so in those cases when you know that hey this is a, there is a linear relationship between my x node to y node or there is an exponential relationship or there is a logarithmic relationship between nodes and uh, you don't want to uh, create custom prediction models and then feed it to this uh, library class right so what I have implemented is that you can create a causal model instead of this code now what you can do is like you can just create uh, use this function new uh, feature function which is like create causal model from equations so now what you can do is based on this dummy data that we had generated you know here uh, the causal relationship uh, between each node so what you can do is like you can just define that relationship uh, in a string equation form so for example here x which is fall which follows normal distribution being the root node and which has these parameters location and the scale uh, and then we have the y node and the z node respectively uh, defined as per the, as per the data generation process right so once you run this uh, what you get is the causal model itself so so now you can see you will you have got what uh, you would have to do a lot of manual operations in case you know what 
exactly is the relationships uh, between each each node right so you can use this feature in this cases and once you have this causal model ready so just plotting it you can see x follows x uh, y follows uh, uh, x being the root node and then again uh, y to z so this was the causal model that uh, we had defined and created and now you can use different causal functionalities uh, using this causal model so here for example based on this data generation process that we have defined for each node i'm just using draw samples method to like generate the data or synthetic data based on the uh, relationships or functional causal models defined right so you can see the data has been generated based on these equations that we had inputted and you can go on using other functionalities that are present in the do while library i think yeah this, this was the pretty much implementation that uh, i had done and again it also supports some other complex equations as well just for example we have here some data related to microservice architecture uh, we have different services data and like you can see here that there is a causal mo model uh, defined here it's empirical uh, uh, distribution that is defined for this root node and then you can define different types of uh, 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 weight functions or you can define functions as well so for example here you know that there is exponential relationship so you have defined an exponential function here and you don't need to define this function outside everywhere anywhere uh, this will work out out of the box and it supports all the functions that are under the numpy library directory so mm, that support is also there and then there are different ways you can define the your noise models like here it can be it is a parametric means that system will find the best parametric distribution that fits this observed data and also you can define your uniform distribution or uh, some other distribution as well right according to your uh, uh, data generation process so in this cases you can uh, use this feature and yeah that's it soon uh, this will be in the next upcoming release and uh, uh, you you will also find a, a better uh, documentation uh, soon so i think yeah that's it thank you